In today's video, we are going to look at a new concept in our Python coding called loops. Now, as the name suggests, loops are when we repeat code or loop code over and over again. Okay, it saves us writing out tons and tons of code. And I'll give you an example of what I mean. If we were told by someone, I'd like you to write the code that prints the numbers from 1 to 100. Okay, from what we've learned so far in our um, course, you'd probably write something like this, where we'd write print, open up the brackets, and write 1. Then we go to the next line and go print 2, and print 3, and so on. As you can see, quite a tedious job, and that would take a very long time to get all the way to 100. Okay, there is a better way to do it. We'll let the computer do all the hard work for us. And that's where loops come in handy. Now there's two types of loops, a while loop and a for loop. We're gonna have a look at the while loops today. And I'll explain what a while loop means in a moment when we get to it in the code. So to start with, in our um, app today, we're gonna to tell the computer what number to start at. And I'm gonna put that into a variable. Okay, the variable name, um, you can choose one if you want, but I'm going to call it number. That's something fairly meaningful. Uh, the number that we're starting at today is 1. So number equals 1. All right, now I'm going to write in the while loop. Once I've written it, I'll explain what it does. So I'm going to write while number, so that's the variable above it, is less than or equal to 100. We put a colon. We press enter, we're going to print out the variable number, and then I'm going to write in number equals number plus one. And that's my program written. Let me just save it and run it, and then I'll explain what's going on. Okay, we'll call this, um, what are we up to, tutorial 12, while loops. Okay, let's run it and we'll see what happens. Bang, there it is. We've got all the numbers 1 to 100 written there. 1, all the way through to 100, just like that, in four lines of code. A bit easier than 100 lines of code, isn't it? Okay, so let's break it down and have a look at what's going on. So as I said before, we start off with the first number. Number equals 1. That's our starting point. Then we get down to our while loop. So what this code is saying is while number, so this number up here, while it's less than or equal to 100, then we're gonna print out whatever this variable is equal to. So the first number that it's equal to is one, so it would print a number one on the screen. Okay, after it's printed that number one on the screen, it comes down to this next line. And we're actually gonna change the value of this number. What we do is we take the current number, which is one, and we add one to it. So it ends up on two. Then we come back around and we start the loop over again because we haven't reached 100 yet. Okay, our variable is only set to two now. So we can run the code again. So we print the next number, which is two. And then we come down to this final line here and we add one more to it. We end up with three. So this number that we started with continually goes up by one each time this loop runs the code. All right, so I know that is a little bit confusing. Okay, so take the time to just read it and break it down and hopefully it will start to make sense as time goes on. We will be practicing these while loops. Okay, this isn't the only exercise we'll do, so if it doesn't quite make sense right now, again, we'll practice it and it will start to sink, uh, sink in eventually. All right, so while the number's less than 100, we print out whatever this number value is and then we add one to it. So one turns into two. We run the code again, we print the number two, and then we add another one to it. And this changes to three. So we print the number three. Then we add one to it, it changes to four. And it just keeps going round and round in circles until we get to 100. Once this number equals 100, then we stop and the program ends. And that's how we get from one to 100.